Good afternoon. In this lesson, we're going to look at solutions or mixtures of substances. You've already had some background in types of matter, so a solution is a mixture of two or more substances. Let's take a look at some definitions first. There are two main parts of a solution, the solute and the solvent. The solute is the part of the solution that gets dissolved. Um, a lot of times it's a solid, but it doesn't have to be. It's the material that you have the least amount of when you look at um, all of the parts of the solution. So the solute dissolves in the solvent. The solvent is the part of the solution that does the dissolving. A lot of times this is water, but it doesn't have to be. And the solvent is the chemical that you have the greater amount of when you look at all of the things that are mixed together. Now you know that solubility is not the same for all substances. And I want you to think about solutions in a wider range now. A solution is not just dissolving a solid in a liquid or a solid in water. The solute doesn't even have to be a solid. You could dissolve alcohol in water, for example. The solvent doesn't even have to be a liquid either. You don't have to always use water. Um, homogeneous mixtures of two metals are actually alloys, and you know that those are solids. So there are many different types of solutions and homogeneous mixtures. Here's how dissolving works. A solvent is going to dissolve a solute. Um, this animation is for salt and water. So take a look at this process. You see here that salt is being added to water. Water's the solvent. Now let's look on a molecular level what's happening. The negative side of the waters are attracted to the positive sodium ions, and the positive hydrogens of the water are attracted to the negative chloride ions. And this happens over and over again until the salt is totally dissolved. As the water molecules are dissolving those ions, they create little shells around them that prevents the sodium and the chloride ions from getting back together, and that's what dissolving is. All right, so why do some substances dissolve easily in one another, like sugar in water or salt in water, and others don't? like oil and vinegar. They make the two layers in the salad dressing bottle. Well, it turns out that that has to do with polarity. Polar molecules are attracted to other polar molecules and to neutral ones. Nonpolar molecules are attracted to other nonpolar molecules. But polar and nonpolar substances do not mix. So an important little piece of information to remember is that water is a polar molecule. So anything that water can dissolve must also be polar. The phrase that we use for this is like dissolves like. Polar dissolves polar, nonpolar dissolves nonpolar. Let me show you what I mean by polarity with water. Here's a picture of water. Remember in the diagram in the illustration with the salt and the water just earlier, you saw how the negative end of the water attracted the positive end of the salt and the positive end of water attracted the negative end of the salt. That's why. Water is polar because it has a negative end and a positive end. There's not an equal distribution of charge with a polar molecule. It has a shape so that it's asymmetrical. There's a negative end and a positive end. So all molecules that have this type of distribution of charge are also polar. And ones that are symmetrical surrounding the central atom, if they don't have an unequal distribution of charge, those are nonpolar molecules. So we'll work some more on this in the future, but this will get you started. It's just a good introduction to solutions.